Hello everybody, this is Nia Boaz Fala. I'm here with the weekly astrological message for the week between the 13th and the 20th of June 2020. Merry Summer Solstice for all of you in the Northern Hemisphere and Merry Winter Solstice for all of you in the Southern Hemisphere. This is the longest day in the Northern Hemisphere and the shortest day in the Pacific so this is a transformative time we are heading into a lunar eclipse in the zero degree of cancer and on the solstice this is a very transformational period two out of three this year that astrologers have been talking about for a long time the first drive between January and March we all know what erupted back then and the second one is coming now from the end of June through to July and then the third from November December onwards just the end of November and December so we're heading into the second wave now this can be a second wave of corona like it was in the first uh, transformational period but it doesn't have to be in the second and the third waves corona alone it could be the economy it could be war and conflict it could be civil unrest this is a transformational time for economies and countries and countries come into the magnifying glass as this eclipse is in um, the sign of a, a cancer which symbolizes what we feel is our home and also in the broader sense our homeland what is it that we want in our family and in our extended family and clan what it is that we stand for and how much protection should we have within this environment with this within this womb as large and encompassing as it might be family in the true sense of it our family members our parents and our children come into a magnifying glass through this month and through this eclipse and the way we are handling our own feelings what we need to keep us safe and sane and this is truly a time that we need to cleanse out patterns in our personal and collective behaviors that have been needed in the past in fact maybe even necessary to preserve us but are no longer what was food in the morning is shit in the afternoon we have to get rid of it stay with less but less that is much healthier less that is much better and more moral and ethical for everyone so this is what this time is about and the changes need to start within fight for everything you don't want to bring back into reality fight for that change fight for this evolution and do it peacefully non-violently do it lovingly because the truly the most terrible thing that we could do now I see everyone quarreling I see right left wing right wingers and left wingers I see blacks and and whites I see Arabs and Jews I see rich people and poor people I see Democrats and Republicans I see Muslims and Hindus oh God I see gays against transgenders against lesbians against Wow so many differences can't you overlook them and see what unifies us if we would not be able to do it if we won't rise above our differences and see the love that connects us all we will need to learn it the hard way we will need to be humbled we will need to be purified this is the time to overlook our differences and find ways to cooperate and work together not to ridicule or criticize too harshly the ways and mistakes of others because if we do what are how are we better if we treat treat them as cruelly as they treat us how are we better than they are and besides that illusion of separateness of us and them is just what it is an illusion <laughs> and I think Corona came to remind us that so Sunday the 14th 
good day for money and career. I know it's a Sunday, but hey, 15th, 16th, and 17th are much less so. These are days to not push things and, and keep it much more looser and, and, and calmer and not as obsessive, not as pushy. It's about lessening things, parting from things, cleansing things. And then Wednesday, from evening time onwards, things really uh, look nice in the sky. Even though Mercury is retrograding on the 18th for the next three weeks, it's going to retrograde, retrograde in Cancer. Again, bring the state, the homeland, the family, the clan, the need for belonging and protection and being at home. Oh, again, being at home into spectrum but other than that it's a wonderful day there's a lot of green aspects in the sky and it's a good day for communication and energy and intimacy that's your Thursday Friday and Saturday are just packed with energy with Mars planet male energy sex styling, sex styling Jupiter and Pluto very combative kind of formation we have to watch out not to lash out not to be um, aggressive in our personal lives and in our social lives we could see eruptions we could see eruptions again what patterns do we wanna leave behind and then on the 21st we have the solar eclipse and the summer solstice it's on the 20th in some places in the world and we are heading into a very transformative second wave so brace yourselves Take care of what truly is needed, your families, yourselves, your emotional side. Everything must be in order and hygienic and healthy at home and in your near surroundings. And understand that this is more of a time of reflection than it is of action again. And as we are heading towards next week, things are getting more intense already. So, maybe really heighten the light, fight for what is right, and do it in a way that when we look back at that time, when we look back at these times, you would say, as challenging as it was, boy or girl, am I proud of you. I pr I'm very proud of the choices you chose to exert, even though it was very challenging. So may we all feel that way about each other and about ourselves and for the right reasons. May we all live long and prosper. Bye-bye.